Hello, I'm Douglas Johnson, and welcome to Siren Walk number 12. Uh, as you'll notice, I'm not outside doing this recording. I'm here in my office. Uh, that's because I forgot to hit record on my phone when I did the introduction. Uh, and I didn't realize it until I got here and I offloaded the footage, and my intro wasn't there. So, here I am. But you guys aren't here to see me do my introduction. You're here to see some sirens. Uh, so today we're going to be seeing about six sirens uh, and we're going to start in or I'm going to start in uh, Highland Park and then I'm going to do kind of a loop tour up until Eagle Rock. So yeah, sit back, relax and enjoy siren walk number 12. You know, the start of any good trip is a donut. So I just stopped here at Big Mama's donut shop and got myself a donut twist and the next siren is about two blocks that way across Figueroa Street here. All right, let's head on over. So I just came down 55th Street from the donut shop and uh, right on the corner I was able to look and there it is right there. There's the first siren. I don't know if you guys can see it from here. Let me get closer so you can see what it is. There it is. It's a 500. It's here on Longfellow between Avenue 53 and 54. And uh, it's got a really cool looking rust pattern to it. Uh, I might have said it before, but the rust patterns on these things really help to identify them. It's like stripes on a zebra. Uh, they all have these different unique rust patterns on them that really make them look even cooler than what they are. Uh, so but this one, it looks like somebody got up there and uh, spray painted the, uh, the inner ring. So there's no power, the power has been cut, and it doesn't look like there's any lines at all attached to this siren right here. So from here, the next siren is quite a bit away, but there are a couple things I want to see along the way. See if I see them or not. The other thing I wanted to mention though, was this hat I'm wearing here today. Called One Moment. The girls like orgasmic eggs. Organic. It was a film that I had worked Why on a couple years I ago, and it was the last the film that Danny Aiello was in before he passed away. And it is being released right no. now on a bunch of streaming services. One moment would never be enough. So I encourage you all to check it out and uh, let me know what you think. All right, on to the next siren. Cool, I noticed in this area are these like uh, tiled design signs here, you know? They have the street names on them. And then they usually have a piece of work of art here. Uh, it's pretty cool. I love it. Now, they're all over. I saw this one here, there's one down there, and they're all up and down the street. But a cool thing that I found is, uh, I don't know what this thing is. I have no idea what that is. If anybody knows what that is, let me know. It's this cool, massive machine. It looks like it spins. Or maybe it's a donut machine? I don't know. It's cool. Anyway, you come down here, you can check out the street the tile designs on the street you can find some interesting hidden machinery. Then you find interesting things like this guy, uh, giant chicken with a chicken bucket in his hand. Uh, and I know there's a story behind that, but I'm gonna tell that story in my Highland Park walk video. So be sure to subscribe so you can check that one out and find out what is the story with this chicken guy. There's the Los Angeles Police Museum up over here on York Street. Uh, this is someplace I do wanna visit one day, uh, just not on this trip. So it's something I'm gonna have to hold out for. They have like the old classic uh, police cars and stuff. Sometimes when I go to the, uh, the reenactment events, they'll show up with their old police cars from like the 40s and stuff. And it's really cool. So I'm looking forward to that trip. Okay, the next siren is just up the street here and then on the backside of a park. So I'm walking along here and I see this. It's just a rock with a plaque on it. There's a baseball field and a school and an open park with nothing in it. And then a rock with a plaque. Let's see what it has to say. Garvanza pumping station and site of Highland Reservoir. Architect, Department of Water and Power. Built 1889. I see no reservoir or anything here anymore, but I guess 140 years ago, there was water here and maybe a building and something that fed water to the local area. From Figueroa, I worked my way up to York where the 
police museum was. And then I went down York, and then I dog-legged up to Meridian. I took Meridian here to Avenue 63, where we'll find the next siren on our trip, right behind me here. However, it's buried up in those trees. And another thing, there's the scaffolding base that the people would stand in. There's the pole. There's where the siren should be, but there's no siren. It was supposed to be an SD10, so I'm not too concerned. It's not one of the older Model 7s or Model 7 cutdowns. There are plenty of SD10s around the city, but yeah, so the pole's still there. So it's a reminder of what once was, but the siren is no longer with us. Another one goes. I'm on the corner of Meridian and Avenue 63. So if anybody knows what's the fate of the siren on the corner of Meridian and Avenue 3, please let me know. So from the missing siren there on uh, 60, Avenue 63 in Meridian, I came back to Figueroa, came up Figueroa to a place here called Farrington Lane. And as you can see, it's a narrow little street or a lane going up and just beyond these trees is our next siren. So when I went to edit this, I realized I forgot to hit record more than once. Uh, I had a great stand up on this thing about the uh, what looks to be gunshot holes in this siren. Now there is a wire running from there down, which is probably, you know, the telephone line, but all the power has also been cut. So this guy is not powered. Uh, there's no power in it, so it won't work. And walking over here, I found that the, uh, the cable here, there's the end of it right there. So even that power cable has been cut. So from that Model 7, I continued north on Figueroa until I got to Yosemite. I made a left and then a right on a Boca and right on the corner was the next siren, a 500. And once again, I forgot to hit record on my phone. But here's some peaceful video of a 500 out in the wilderness. So from the 500 on Avoca, I went north up through the community till I got to Colorado. I made a right and on the corner was this gorgeous cut down Model 7. And once again, I forgot to hit record on my phone. So I really love these uh, federal code cut down sevens. Uh, to me, it really helps uh, bring home what it was like to live during uh, the 40s, during World War II. You know, they had to ration a lot of things and they decided to ration some of the metal here and cut the sirens down, uh, even though these were uh, in integral parts of the civil defense system. Uh, they also had to make sacrifices. So anyway, from here, I have a two and a half mile walk down Colorado Boulevard to the sixth and final siren on this walk. But I don't expect you guys to be with me that entire walk. So through the magic of editing, I'll take you guys there in a... All right, here I am. I just walked the two miles down Colorado. And when I got to a street called Ellenwood, just past Eagle Rock Boulevard, here it is. SD10, the sixth and final siren on this day tripping walk number 12. You know, it's in about the same shape as many others. Um, there's still a lot of the yellow paint on there, like the bright yellow underneath, but less of the weather is going to get to it. Again, it's not plugged in, but it still has the phone connecting line. An SD10 to round out this trip. It was nice and casual. I'm calling this my casual trip. There was no steep hills. It was a lot of walking, but everything was flat. But to see all the sirens was about eight miles uh, that I walked. Uh, it's only got about 90 degrees today, so I drank all my water, but it's, again, this one was really casual, really slow and really fun. It was just a good day out. So thank you for joining me as I saw these sirens around Highland Park and Eagle Rock. You know, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to continue to see more sirens because there are still plenty more to see in the Los Angeles area. I have at least 
up to walk 15 planned and that doesn't even cover all the sirens that are in this area but until next time you know as always try to get out and enjoy the world around you but be sure to stay safe and stay healthy